Alu. You may know him for his orping. You may know him from his entertaining voice comms. You may even know him for his testicles. In any case, he's one of the most important figures in Finnish Counter-Strike. He helped rebuild Ents in 2018, and was an integral part of one of the most successful Finnish Counter-Strike teams of all time. Yet, right now, he doesn't seem to be making life all too easy for Ents. Hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's topic is obviously Alu. He first joined Ents back in 2014. This is actually his third stint with the team. He played again with them in 2016, before going off to FaZe. And then when they brought the project back, he was one of the founding pieces, one of the founding members, because he wasn't just the best player. He was the first player signed and quite a big deal for the organization. So this renaissance of Ents has been largely due to his influence. Now the team in 2019 reached heights no one ever thought imaginable for a group of Finnish players that were relatively obscure. I mean, outside of Finland, I don't think anyone would have known these names except really Alu. Even then, newer fans to the scene who didn't watch him prior to leaving for Ents in 2018, they wouldn't have known who he was. So it was a relatively obscure team that went on an incredible run in 2019, finishing second at a number of S-tier events, the most impressive of which was the Katowice Major. No one saw that coming. I mean, that was incredible. After this streak of good events, they finished fifth to eighth at the Berlin Major. Okay, it's not second, but it's not bad. But then Alexi B is benched. The story surrounding this is that he had a bad attitude or he was difficult to be around. Honestly seems like a pretty flimsy excuse for kicking someone when you are amongst the world's elite a place you should have never expected to be, and you're kicking a guy because you don't get along with him? Is, is the vibe we got that they just didn't get along with him? That he seemed he was an asshole? Like, who cares? Who cares? You're a fucking competitor looking to win games. If you wanted to find four friends, join a fucking five-a-side football league. This makes no sense. I digress. They got rid of at Lexi B. According to everyone who's willing to do interviews, as the Finnish are notoriously short with words, let's say. We got the impression that it was a team removal. Everyone seemed to have the same issue with him. Okay. Well, the team from that point on just got worse and worse and worse. They'd brought in Sonny at some point to be the IGL. Not sure why. He didn't exactly have the tenure of great leadership, but what do I know? They eventually traded X7 out. Ariel benched himself for health issues. And then eventually, late on in 2020, Sergei claimed he was feeling unmotivated, so he fucked off to the army. All of which is a bit strange. Because at this point, the only person left from that peak, let's call it, at Katowice in 2019, is Alu. They do say, if every room you're in smells of shit, look under your shoe. So, maybe the org should have taken that as a hint, immediately. Even after... Alu became the last man standing. Sunny left through mutual agreement, which if we've learned anything in the last few years about professional Counter-Strike, it's that mutual agreement means typically we hate each other. The team has basically fallen apart and Alu decides he's going to go and do some PR by going on a Finnish podcast and then eventually on the HLTV podcast. And it's here that things really just fall apart for him. So he intimates some things about the reasons why Alexi B was kicked, the reason why everyone's leaving the team, and immediately Finnish players on Twitter start being quite vocal, which is an anomaly, because usually they say absolutely nothing. Sonny came out and basically said, yep, he's lying, he's covering some things up, he's not telling the whole truth. So this leaves the team in an awkward predicament. They have two roster slots to fill, Two of their three players they actually have are AWPers, so there's got to be some changes made. The first thing we hear about through the proverbial grapevine is that the team are going to bring in Snappy and TMB. Reported on by DK, usually a pretty solid source. Don't see any reason not to believe it. Snappy, TMB. In-game leader, Young Rifler. Cool, that works out. Then we hear, if any potential move is going to follow, it'll be Yampi out to make way for a rifle player. 
and Alu is staying. What the fuck? I know Yampi's not been brilliant. You know, he's had a 0.88 rating over the last three months, which looks horrible. But in the context of his situation, where his team has basically gone from one group of guys to a completely different group of guys almost overnight, and the biggest name on the team is a bit of a cunt, I can understand why, as a young player with very little formal professional experience, is going to have some performance issues. That's okay. Alu is no longer the player he once was. Sure, he can still put up some good numbers in the Orp role, but he's not a player you can call a star. If Ents want to contend again, they have to remove the tumour, the source of the problem, and that's Alu. It starts and it ends with Alu at this point. There's been too much discord and discontent throughout the last year or year and a half or so since Alexi B was removed to really justify having him about. He is clearly the problem in the team. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, leave a comment, sub, do whatever you want. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.